Welcome to Diagnotherapy. In today's video, we will be learning what's inside the CT scan. We will be seeing complete like X-ray, tube and detector and tank. We will be seeing the, all the setup of this in this video. So let's get started. Firstly, we will be removing the panel. So this panel consists of all the power cords, power cables and power distribution system over here. So this setup is mainly responsible for the power distribution and all the power management. If there is a breakdown, we first check all the wires and PCBs if they all are correct. Then we proceed to opening the gantry. Here we are opening the gantry. You can see now the whole system is open. Here we are checking all the parts and inspecting them carefully. So slowly and slowly we are rotating and checking if all the parts are working correctly or not. Here the detector, the x-ray tube, the tank of anode and cathode, these all move in a circular way and the communication and the transmission of electrical signals as well as the image signals are through a technology called as slip ring, slip ring technology. Now here you can see there is the x-ray tube, this is the detector, you can see the area of detectors, this is anode and this is cathode, so anode and cathode. These anode and cathode are the tanks of the x-ray tube. Here you can appreciate the array of detectors, you can see the arc structure. This is the array of detectors which detects the x-ray. This array of detectors detect the x-ray signals and then convert into electrical signals. From the x-ray tube, the anode part comes into this tank. Moving from here, the another side we have the cathode tank. This is the cathode tank. There are hydraulics placed which help in keeping the gantry open. You can see the hydraulics on the both end. This hydraulic have proper torque mentioned on that so that it can withstand this force. From the different angle, I am showing you the X-ray tube. This is the cathode tank and there is the anode tank and above is the detector. So from a different view, you can see the X-ray tube, how it is placed. You can see how compactly they are placed and above we have the detector array. This X-ray generates a conical beam which falls on the detector. From the X-ray, there is a conical beam and it will revolve. So after the revolution, so from different directions like this, the X-ray will take the pictures of bony structures, muscular tissues or different parts from different angles. This was the basic look from the front or you can say front view of the CT scan. Now we are removing the back panel of the CT scan. We are removing the back panel and from the back side we will be seeing what are the things inside the CT scan. Here after carefully removing the locking screws we have to lift it from both the sides and there is a hinge upwards similar to front. So after removing it we can just open this panel. The panel will be out. This panel cover doesn't have a hydraulic. So the back side we need to remove and open it. So it has clamps so we need to remove and open it. After that the gantry portion has a cover. We need to remove that. So we need to unscrew the different screws which are placed. Now we are taking this part out and carefully we will be taking it and place it in, in place it in secure position. Now we will move this CT scan manually from the front side, CT means the exit tube and detector and we will observe the slip ring from the back. The detector, x-ray and the tank is moving. So the main communication happens through a technology called as slip ring. So slip ring helps in communication of the information and power. So in short, so what is a slip ring? It's a circular conductive ring with brushes or contactless couplings mounted between stationary parts of the scanner, stator and the rotating gantry. Enables transmission of electrical power, data and control signals across the rotating interface. Now a big question is why it's needed in CD? In earlier CT scanners, cables wound and unwound as gantry rotated which limited the rotation angle typically less than 360 degree and required reversing the gantry. 
With slipping technology, the gantry can rotate continuously in one direction without worrying about tangled cables. Now, we will see the function. What is the function of the slip ring? First, supplies electricity to the X-ray tube and detectors while the gantry rotates. Second, signal transmission carries raw detector data from the rotating detectors to the stationary processing system. Third, control signals communicates instructions to detectors, X-ray generator and other components on the gantry. Fourth, enables helical spiral CT scanning. Since the gantry can rotate continuously while the patient table moves through the bow, Producing volumetric data sets, the basic for modern 64 slice helical CT imaging. As a basic service, here we are cleaning the slip rings. We are cleaning the slip rings for proper communication and power transmission. Here we are checking all the slip rings and viewing their condition and Checking if, if there is any wear and tear. So we need to check the details of the slip ring. This is a very long process, little bit long process, but the inspection needs to be done very carefully. I am trying to show you the slip rings from as close a shot that I can get. So you can see moving slip rings. Here the slip ring cleaning process is in progress. So manually we are moving the slip ring, the whole system and we are cleaning it. You can see many concentric circles. These are of transmitting power and image data. From the front side, you can see how manually we are rotating for cleaning of the slip rings. Here for checking we are moving the whole system in the circular fashion. But when they, there is a scan in process, so there is a motor attached to it and there is a belt which moves the whole system. You can see the belt and the whole assembly how it's it is attached the motor and the gearing moves the whole gantry of detector exit tube and the tank this is the whole array of detectors you can see the array of detectors after this we will be moving towards closing of this panel we will be starting from the back side putting the gantry cover now just for recalling the things the x-ray here we have the conical beam falling on the detector then we have the power modules of anode and cathode the tank above there are the power and the pcbs you may appreciate how compactly they all are stacked together this cathode power module now closing in process of gantry so the gantry cover has been put on now we will be closing the front end of the CT scan and we are near to the closure of this machine. Now we are fixing a transparent cover which has light which helps in the position of the gantry. So after everything has been done, then we close the system. So this is the like final closure of the system. We are checking the alignment. After checking the alignment of the front and the back, and there is a transparent cover from which the light goes. So this was the video of how a CT scan looks from inside and what are the key components present which are very essential to know for a biomedical engineer and healthcare enthusiast.
Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and comment us what more things you want to like to have us on this channel. See you soon in the next video.